Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and it's Friday, so we're doing a magic book review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you like magic, hope you like playing cards, and I hope you like free stuff because I do giveaways too. This is where I do magic reviews of the latest and greatest and not so greatest uh, magic that's hitting the market, uh, where I do reviews for playing cards also. And then I typically turn all that stuff around uh, and do giveaways every single month because I receive these things for free. I receive this product for free, but I don't keep it. I don't keep it. I'd rather give it back to you because I was blessed to have it for a little while. And so I usually return that blessing. And I'm just saying there's a huge magic giveaway coming up for Christmas. So make sure you hit like, subscribe, your notifications, all that stuff so that you're ready with your finger over the button. I don't know what button that would be for when those reviews and giveaways go live. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. And that's typically where I do a magic book review because really the best magic secrets, the best magic tricks are always in books. Books are gonna be the best place to get the most bang for your money. And this book is no exception. I'll just tell you right away, right off the bat, this book only costs $35 and there's over 60 tricks. 60 tricks evenly divided between card tricks and close up and some really great essays from Genie Magazine, all from a brilliant magician, David Acker. Uh, and, and we'll get into the review. But really quickly, let me show you my library uh, so you can see some of the books. I'll go through them really quickly. You can slow it down if you want to. But if there's any titles in there that I have not already reviewed, and I have reviewed a lot of those, so use your search feature to find them. But if you see something that I haven't reviewed, make sure you put a comment down below. And if I take your suggestion, I will give you a shout out. I talked way too long. Let's get into this review. This is Random Acts of Magic from David Acker. All right, so if you don't know who David Acker is, he is a Canadian author, stand-up comic, close-up magician, card trick magician, inventor of magic tricks, and he's the co-host, co-writer of the syndicated television series Mystery Hunters, and probably the inventor of one of my very favorite packet tricks, and we'll get into that later. Random Acts of Magic is more than 60 tricks refined from thousands of shows, lectures, and television appearances. And in this book, you're gonna find tricks with cards, coins, markers, cell phones, matchbooks, matches, receipts, uh, rubber bands, bottles, balls, billets, wallets, ties, spoons, and rings you wear on your finger, and 12 thought-provoking essays from David that have all appeared in Genie Magazine. Also, when you peruse the table of contents, you'll see that many of these tricks were also co-inspired alongside Jay Sankey, Richard Sanders, Max Maven, and Richard Kaufman, and he's always going to credit any dead magician inspiration when credit is due. The book is broken down into three sections. The first section is all card tricks and it's called Extrovert at the Card Table. If you look at the table of contents, you will easily see which slights go with each trick. So you won't have to turn to the trick first and then discover, oh, I don't know those slights. He'll show you in the table of contents right away. That said, he doesn't slow down in his explanations. Uh, the write-ups for every single trick is as brief as it needs to be. So he doesn't spend any time teaching you slights if you don't already know them. So I would suggest you have this book and then you have something else next to you, another, another book that's probably going to help you with some of the slights. Uh, I'm going to read to you an excerpt from one trick just so that you can see his writing style and so that you can understand what I'm talking about, that he says things in a way hoping that you are already an intermediate to advanced magician. David Acker writes, have a card chosen, then return to the deck, control it to the bottom and carry out a false cut. Or if you prefer, rather than having the selection removed from the deck, simply carry out Frank Simon's versatile control, having a card touched, shown, then controlling it to the bottom of the deck in one smooth action. Cut eight or 10 cards from the face of the top of the deck, holding a left pinky break at the cut, immediately beneath the section. With your left thumb, spread cards off to the right hand one by one. When you get it, up jog it. Now, if you're an intermediate to advanced magician, you'll be familiar with all those terms. If you're a beginner, you'll sit there and go, <laughs> right? Because 
You're like, I wish I had a video or I wish I had pictures. Uh, this book does have photographs, it does, but it, he is not going to photograph every single element and he's going to rely on you already having a little bit of knowledge. The best tricks in the card section are changes, count on it, and tangent, and my personal favorite packet trick, mad card disease. I bought mad card disease a long time ago when I visited uh, Grand Illusions in Sacramento, California, and uh, I loved it then. I still love it. I still carry it with me. And let me just say, it blow you away magic, and it's only done with four corners of a playing card. That's it. Mad card disease is a single card ripped into quadrants and you just carry those four little pieces around and you do some mind blowing transpositions. I'll say it again. Mad card disease is one of my very favorite packet tricks of all time. I have done it my entire life and it gets huge reactions and it's only one of the tricks that's in this book. The second section is the close up section and it's entitled magic by Mr direction and it's the section where I said it involves coins, markers, cell phones, matchbooks, matches, receipts, uh, rubber bands, bottles, bills, wallets, etc. And to be able to have a book that has both styles of tricks, right? Tons of card tricks and tons of close-up effects for $35. This is why I review this because this is a cornucopia of tricks. It is so, uh, so worth your money. And if you don't know who David Acker is, you should, because he, he is everything I've been saying. And he is one of those brilliant inventors, brilliant magicians that every magician should know. You should have a David Acker book somewhere in your library. Any magician worth his salt has a David Acker book in his library. Um, if I were going to describe him, I would say he is a lot like Jay Sankey. He is a lot like Jay Sankey in that he's fresh, he's entertaining, he's forward thinking, he's different. He's funny, his tricks are outside the box, they're not gonna look like uh, somebody else, but then he also combines some of the expertise, sleight of hand, and the cardistry of like someone like Richard Kaufman. So it's like a Jay Sankey and Richard Kaufman uh, mixed together David Acker. The last section, the third section, is your essay section. There's 12 essays. They're entitled Confessions of a Road Warrior. My favorite essay in there, and your favorite essay in there also will be, he has an essay called Books Versus Videos. Now, obviously when this came out, videos were a lot newer back then, so some of the things he's saying seem a little archaic, but the best part of that essay is he reaches out to 30 different big time, big name magicians, 30 magicians, and has each of them send in their top 10 list for favorite magic books. You get to read all 30 of their lists and you get to see what are some of the best magic books in the world. And then David takes those 30 lists and he shrinks them down to an ultimate top 12. And just to have that top 12 somewhere as a reference, it, it's priceless. So like I said, the magic in this book, probably for intermediate to advanced level magicians. That being said, I don't think a lot of these tricks will necessarily fool a magician, but chances are your audiences aren't magicians anyway. These tricks will certainly blow spectators away. And like I said, they're funny, they're fresh, they're entertaining. This is an awesome book. Like I said, this book is about $35. And uh, if you wanna learn more about David, you can always visit him at davidacker.com. I got my book from Penguin Magic, so I know it's available there but I've seen it other places as well as eBay. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey everybody, oh wait, am I starting? Yeah, yeah.